What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We have two Charizard tins. While, like, I absolutely love the, the ETBs, you know what? Last time we opened a couple of these, it, we did very well. So we're going to go and open up two more of these. Still looking for our Hidden Fates Charizard, even though we do have one. But we do want to make sure we pull our own. Uh, that one will obviously have much more sentimental value, and that's... So that's what we're chasing at this point, even though there's still a lot of other cards that we still need. And as I struggle to get these tins opening, opened, I do have a question for you all. And that is when it comes to, you know, our openings, uh, if I were to like kind of lay out two options for you guys as far as, you know, do you like this idea of doing daily openings or if we were to do like, let's say two or three times a week, but they are significantly larger in the amount of stuff that we open. So like, let's say per week, the amount of packs that we open or whatever weren't really to change, but the frequency or the quantity opened were to change. Um, you know, do you prefer just a few, but let's say instead of opening two tins per video, it's like four, six or whatever. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down below. And uh, yeah, if there's a overwhelming opinion, we'll probably steer things in that direction. So yeah, let me know. And uh, all right, we're just about ready, but uh, we have been trying to stream recently and it's going okay. Still trying to set things up. I'm actually going to hop online after I record and edit this video. So hope to see you guys online. It is kind of random and stuff like that, but we're still trying to, to be honest, I'm trying to understand the process and how the software works. Uh, eventually when I get a capture card, set things up for a switch and stuff like that. And we've been primarily just playing PTCGO with uh, you know some subs and stuff like that. It's been a lot of fun. Reminds me that I need to make some new decks. However, I'm missing quite a few cards for like the Elite Mewtwo decks. But all right, let's get into some packs. We have eight packs, eight shots at looking for this guy right here. I don't really use this art, but it does look pretty cool. Oh, what is this? All right, let's get into our first pack, see how we can do. All right, here we go. We have a water energy, Charmeleon, Chansey, Giovanni, Ekans, Eevee, a Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, and then a Mew. I feel like we've been pulling this Mew a lot lately. And then a Poiple Shiny. Hit number one in pack number one. It is a dupe, but I do like Poiple. And not only do I want to make some, obviously, like the competitive decks in PTCGO, uh, I think it would be fun to just try some, you know, really off, off meta decks, especially when it comes to playing with uh, subs and like uh, anyone that does attend the stream, you know, to, to play super serious uh, versus, you know, oh, look, this, this deck is just very different. And if I can pull it off, it's really fun and stuff like that. Maybe that's also the way we should go. Uh, a bunch of people have been asking, you know, oh, do you play Expanded? I know very little about the Expanded format. Having only got into the competitive scene very recently, obviously it's easier to stay up to date in the standard and especially when it comes to putting the decks together, where obviously I give away most of my codes, but um, to get uh, codes from previous sets is obviously a little bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything particular that you are interested in seeing. All right, we have a Jolteon. We have Jolteon. And uh, ooh, those are some bad packs. Let's see, was that already the... All right, last, last pack of the first 10. We got one hit. Hopefully this one has something in it. Otherwise, that would have been a bad 10. Not to jinx us, but I feel like our luck has been pretty good as of late. We have Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Caterpie, Ekans, Paris, a Charmander, Slowpoke, 
and then a Starmie GX. Haven't seen you in a while. Not that you've been missed. So we did get two hits for this tin, but nothing too crazy to get excited about. So let's move on to tin number two. Hopefully we get an improvement over this one. Otherwise we're gonna have to go back to those ETBs for the next video. All right, we have Water Energy, Metapod, Giovanni, Koga, Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Erica's Hospitality is the rare, and then a Zapdos. Huh? We got a reverse rare, or I think it's a hollow. But uh, oh, one concept, or one thing about the. I can see one advantage of having less frequent videos, but just having more, more, op more. Uh, stuff per video is it might potentially could take less time for me and then would be able to basically do more content that is not just opening packs like uh, whether it's Pokemon Masters or whatever it, just having less videos to edit could could lead in that direction so Jesse and James is our rare and then a Clefair oh gosh maybe these tins are a bad idea <laughs> This is pretty cold. All right, we have fighting energy, far-fetched. This could be our worst opening in quite some time, possibly the worst tin ever, if we keep up on it. So far, nothing from this. Bill's analysis, here we go. Ah, Cubone, oh, I love Cubone, but that was painful to see. All right, last pack. Hopefully this guy can help us avoid the worst tin over ever, worst tin so far, and most likely our worst opening in quite some time. I bet we maybe had a, you know, pin collection that kind of whiffed, but uh, oh, I haven't felt this uncertain and this nervous about it opening in quite some time. We have Chansey, Ekans. Coughing. Cubone. Oh, Geodude. Slowpoke. Where's the rare? Boom. Plains last stand. Ugh. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Uh, still very, very rough opening. <laughs> oh my. That was, a. Uh... That was rough. Alright. Quick recap, we have some very cool, super useful Charizards. I didn't realize how good this guy was until Azul GG had to tell me in like, hey, by the way, for 4 energy, you can do 300 damage. That's insane. We got two of those. We did get two shinies in Poiple and Inke. They are dupes. And then a Starmie GX. So, woo, rough opening. But, uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think, you know daily openings uh, of the current size that we've been get, kind of gotten used to versus uh, two or three a week but larger in size. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below and thanks for watching guys. I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.